hey loves it's Britt and in this video I'm going to talk about what it means to have Mercury square the north node in synastry. So the north node in our natal chart shows where our soul is going. It is a point of destiny or fate. It's always directly opposite to the south node which shows comfort and also some of our gifts carried over from past lives but if we solely stay in the south node we become stagnant and when we go towards our north node we feel fulfillment and we feel like we are living our destiny or purpose now mercury in our natal chart is how we think how we communicate um, how we process information that's coming to us so a big part of our intellect and our ideas and yeah how we talk and communicate so when someone's mercury is square to the north node in synastry it's also square to the south node because they're always both opposite so it's square both nodes um it's a very active and lively relationship with a lot of communicating it doesn't actually um mean that there is a lack of communication it means that there's a lot of communication but the node person can feel like the mercury person is getting them a bit off track at times when um, their mercury is square to their north node they can feel like sometimes the mercury person is going off on some tangents or having these weird thoughts or fears or perceptions that are very much not in line with the mission of the north node person and where their soul is going or even what they're comfortable with because it's also square the south node so the mercury person is kind of like this crazy like jokester or trickster and like the node person can really feel like they are on a different wavelength the mercury person can feel like they don't necessarily understand where the node person is going or where they have been um, but the mercury person can feel very curious about the node person um, you know even though they don't really understand what they're going on about and you know what they're working towards they still are very curious they still ask them a lot of questions and they still um, have a high level of communication with them um, even if they just don't really get it and then so they need to ask more questions and they just talk and talk and talk and talk and the north node person um, can definitely feel like the mercury person wastes a lot of energy going back and forth in their brain and and thinking about things and they can feel like the mercury person is a bit of a worrier or just very mercurial um, in a sense like all of the aspects of a mercury person the north node person feels that the mercury person is very strongly with them and you know sometimes it is actually still helpful for the north node person because because of all this talking they get clearer on what their mission is what their purpose is what they're meant to be doing and what they're meant to be leaving behind but some of the times it can also be very um frustrating like yeah like they're just wasting energy with the mercury person communicating communicating blah 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 and it's like no matter what they say the mercury person still has a hard time um getting it and then even if they do get it it's like the next day then they don't get it and we go back and we're doing the same thing so it can be very activating because the north node person is feeling like they got to explain what they're doing a lot um, so it's very lively, it's a very communicative bond, but the, uh, yeah, the Mercury person can feel a bit annoyed, or, uh, or no, sorry, the Node person can feel a bit annoyed at Mercury, and Mercury is quite innocent in this, so, you know, they just want to know about the North Node person, and, um, they just, it's like their Mercury goes on crack or something when we have, um, <laughs> the mercury square the north node they're just like blah 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 and um it's yeah there's a lot of restless energy in this relationship it can definitely be a soulmate bond it's not a very damaging square like it's not like um one of the worst squares you could have it's quite easy to deal with it just shows a restlessness and exactly what i've said that there's a lot of talking coming from the mercury person but not a lot of understanding 
um, unless we have other aspects going on that are going to show that um, the Mercury person does understand the North Node person's um, motivation in life, you know, towards their destiny, towards their fate, right? Or And also where they've been, their past. So, you know, if you have other aspects going on, this could be even less, but it's generally not a very bad square to deal with. It just creates a lot of buzz, a lot of restlessness, and a lot of communication, um, sometimes more than the node person would like <laughs> to be having. So it's it's funny to see. It's um yeah, it's still very activating. It definitely can bring the um Mercury person a lot of new insights and understandings about the world. It's like what you get out of um interacting with a person who comes from a different background than you and you know is going in a different direction than you. It can be very enlightening. And then the node person can really gain a lot of clarity on what they are actually doing in this life by the Mercury person's constant communication and um, how much they don't think like the Mercury person can really um, put them in the place of like knowing who they are and what they're doing on this planet. So, um, and you know, they might think the same, they could have Mercury conjunct Mercury, right? So you don't, maybe they do think the same, but like the way that the Mercury person communicates just in this aspect that's a square to the node person's nodes is just um yeah very exciting very enlivening and potentially very annoying <laughs> as well so i'd love to know um yeah what was your experience of this this could almost feel a little bit like a sibling connection as well it could feel like um we're buddies like if this isn't a romantic connection this is like a light-hearted kind of feel as well so yeah i'd love to know your experience of this aspect was it like this was it not like this let me know in the comments and thanks for your requests guys keep them coming and we'll talk soon bye